Hello everyone, Immortal here. Today, let's dive into a scenario where you have access to your office, school, college, or workplace Wi-Fi network system and want to learn about the users connected to that network. If you're eager to uncover what others are up to on their devices, then you've come to the perfect place. Before we start, remember that everything discussed here is for educational purposes only. We are not responsible for any misuse of the information provided in this tutorial. This video is intended for students who want to learn about ethical hacking and cybersecurity. After you have ethically hacked your way into a wireless network, it's good to probe to see who else is on the network and discover those live hosts. This is how hackers narrow down an attack on a machine that they're looking to compromise. Ideally, they'll be looking for systems with the most vulnerabilities and the ones easiest to exploit. We're going to start off with ifconfig. Now we're starting off with ifconfig because I want to determine the IP address and the subnet mask that were assigned to my system. It's extremely likely that other systems on the network are assigned the same network ID, and we can use that as a basis for our search now, because I'm using Wi-Fi. WLAN is going to be our interface, just keep that in mind. Here is our IP address, and here is our subnet mask. Now I'm going to pin this on the screen, and we'll talk more about it. Let's make this clear. I'm going to start by typing sudo net discover dash. The I denotes the interface, as I specified before. It'll also provide us with information. About other live hosts on the network, the next part is that we can do a dash. The dash R. The dash R denotes a range, so we're going to specify a range at which we want to scan for the IP. This is exactly why we wanted to check our IP address and the subnet mask, so we can place our IP address here. However, we're actually going to remove the 183 and put a 024. Now, the slash 24 is actually CIDR notation, and literally all it is is just another way of specifying the subnet mask, so slash 24 means 255. 255.255.0. Just keep that in mind, so this slash 24 tells NetDiscover. Hey, we're going to scan all 256 host addresses, and see if there's any live system currently up and running. If your subnet mask is different, you're going to have to use something other than slash 24. You'll have to use a CID notation cheat sheet, which you can simply Google or see here on the screen, and you can just put the corresponding one that matches your subnet mask. Now that that has been determined, we're safe to hit enter. Here are the results we can see. It found 5 live hosts in total based off the slash 24 CIDR notation. It did scan 10.0.0.1, all the way until 256, and it found these 5 in total. So reviewing these, we can see it gives us the name of the Mac vendor. So we're looking at Technicolor CHUSANC. This is actually my router, the default gateway right now. And we also have another system, which is a Samsung Electronic. So that is my phone and the IP address there, and my iRobot vacuum and its corresponding IP address. One that's quite interesting is the Intel Corporation. So this is actually my desktop that I'm currently on overall. So this is where hackers can look to compromise the machine because now that I know the IP address of the machine itself, I can look to run an Nmap scan on that and find any further vulnerabilities on it, and I can exploit it through that way. So this is how network discovery is used to compromise a system and to gain intelligence. One last time, let's live for something. I can feel my blood, it's rushing. This ain't goodbye, we'll be back someday. Find our own